Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to convert a table or a range with data like this one here in Excel to HTML code. And why would we want to convert the data into an HTML table? So to answer that I'm going to show you three examples. In the first example we're going to convert the table here in Excel into a web page. So let me just click here and run the macro and as you see we've got the table in the browser so as a web page the table is not formatted and the web page only contains this table but to do that we need to convert the table or the range with the in Excel into HTML code. Another example is when we want to display a table in a user form. So this is a Excel user form where I'm displaying the table with data that I have here. And again, to do that, we need first to convert the data into HTML code. And the last example is if we want to send an email with the table in the email body. So let's see how to do that. And we're going to start from a blank workbook. I'm just going to copy the same data here. It's, it's just a small table. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a module. And we're going to have convert range to HTML code. First, we will declare some variables, a range object variable. Then we will have our HTML string. And then we will have uh, integers for the row and column. Then we're going to set our range as the active sheet dot used range. And that's just this range here. And now if the range dot rows count is greater than one, so if our table has more than one row, then we can start building our HTML string. That's actually going to be the HTML code. So HTML string is going to start with table. And here you need to know the basics of HTML. If you don't even know what that is, I recommend you have a look at some videos on YouTube. But basically we have tags uh, surrounded by the lower than and greater than symbols. And with the table tag, we initialize a table. Then we need to add rows and columns to that table. And for that, we need to loop through the data. So we will loop with a for each loop and for each RNG row, for example, that's another variable that we are introducing here in the range that we've defined as rng.rows. For each row, we're going to increment the row counter by one. And we're going to set the column counter to zero. Then we will take our HTML string variable and we will add, so that will be equal to the whatever we have there, which is for now is just table and the row tag. And in HTML, the row tag is TR, table row. Now we're going to loop through columns in that row. So for each RNG call, again, that's a variable that we are introducing here in RNG dot columns. We're going to implement the variable C by one, and then we're going to have our HTML string equals HTML string and the column tag, which in, uh, in HTML is TD. And finally, we're going to have our value added to the table. So, and that's in cells R comma C dot value, or we can also put this actually into another variable. up here, RNG value equals, and we just add RNG value here. And then we need to close the, um, the column tag. And in HTML, we close the tags with, um, with the forward, forward slash. But now if we want to have a header tag for the first row instead of a normal column tag. In HTML, that's actually TH. So we're going to have uh, a condition here saying 
if rho equals 1, then we're going to have a th tag that is used for a table header. And else, we will have the normal table column. Now here we can move to the next column, rng call, and when we finish this loop, we want to have again our HTML string closing the row tag, and that's forward slash gr. Then here we can move to the next row, rng row. And finally, when we finish the other loop as well, we again want to add to the HTML string the closing tag for the table. And we end the if statement here. So that would complete the HTML table. Now, we could make this a function to return the HTML, but I'm going to leave it as a as a sub procedure and we're gonna just the back print the HTML string variable and we could of course add some formatting so for example up here in the table I'm gonna add border equals one and we can even add CSS so style then we have to use the other quotes and for example, we can say uh, border collapse collapse so that there is only just one border. And we could add any other style as needed, either to the table tag or to the or to table row, table column, etc. And I just see there's a mistake here, so we need to have a greater than. If we run now the macro. So nothing happened, but we've got our code in the immediate window. So you need to go to view, immediate window. And as you see, we've got the code here. Now, if I copy this into, for example, a notepad and save it as, a, as an HTML. So let's save it here in this folder uh, as table.html. Now if I go and open this file we get our we get our table in the browser. So we've so we have moved from this to this here which is actually saved here and looks like this in the browser. So that's how we convert a table or range with data in Excel into an HTML table. Thanks for watching.